By video request of Jason Folks, today's topic is, is it ever uh, moral or logical to lie, cheat, and steal? To which the answer is yes. But, if I'm a liar, then can you trust my answer? And this is the liar's paradox, which I think I've debunked earlier. I might make another video on the liar's paradox, because um, Riley Robinson has some good criticism, so I think I have a better way of explaining it. Nevertheless, uh, let's get to the actual video. Uh, intro. Now the main reason why it wouldn't be rational to lie, cheat, or steal is because of the potential of a repercussion. So for example, if you're going to get arrested for lying, if you're going to ruin your relationship by doing this, if if um, you know your lies are going to catch up to you and you're going to always live in a state of fear that you have these like trip wires set up, if you're the kind of person who would be guilty lying or it's going to increase your anxiety to lie, cheat, and steal, then it's not a rational investment. All right, so now when we get to uh, is lying, cheating, and stealing ever moral? Okay, so this brings up my new logic model, and maybe I'll make a video on this. Um, my new logic model is as follows. It is that any action is morally justifiable under some circumstance, provided that that action cannot change its definition based on the circumstance. Okay, so let's use an example. Let's say um, uh, the, act, the action of uh, torturing someone by boiling them alive, okay? Is that ever morally justifiable? Well, let's say that that person is a serial killer and they torture and boil alive people in an even worse way, uh, at a lower temperature, let's say, so prolongs their suffering. Um, under that circumstance, you could say uh, this person, you, you could justify that action. So as long as you're listing some kind of uh, concrete, real action that is defined, then I think I'll always be able to uh, create this circumstance where it's morally justifiable. It's sort of like the idea, as long as you give me a real number, um, so you can't give me infinity, which is the largest number possible, an abstract number, no abstract numbers. Give me a real number. Can I make a number larger than that? Yes, I can always just add one to it and then create a larger number, right? So the same thing, any um, action you give that produces suffering, I can simply add one to it and uh, make it a larger suffering. So let's look specifically at, uh, say, lying, okay? We'll come up with a hypothetical model. Um, suppose you have... Uh, a serial killer and they want to torture um, you know uh, victim X to death and they're asking you where is victim X help me locate victim X um, so I can catch this person now you could tell them that the address of the police station so this guy gets caught or you could tell them where you know victim X actually is right and be telling the truth well in this case I think it would be very morally justifiable to lie. Um, uh, something like uh, cheating, you know, same thing. I can, I can create this hypothetical scenario where, you know, I just say uh, cheating or cheating plus one, right? Cheating is preferable to cheating plus one. Um, stealing is preferable to stealing plus one, right? I can always create that um, hypothetical scenario. In, in this case, why even have a rule? Okay, so if, if every action is justifiable under some circumstance, why even say it's wrong to murder? Why even say it's wrong to steal? Why even say, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? Well, certain actions are definitely strongly correlated to human suffering, okay? So for example, torturing people is generally very strongly correlated to producing more harm than good. 
So for example, when we use the act-based system of let's say, it's okay to lie, well, are people only going to do it when the situation is lying plus one? Are they going to lie to prevent lying plus one? Or are they going to lie to prevent lying minus 10? Right? They're going to lie to prevent lying minus 10. And what I mean by that is, for example, um, they're going to lie and cause you know 10 points of harm to stop two points of harm in themselves. They're going to use it to their own selfish benefit. And this is the big problem with act-based thinking, which is you can really come up with a um, rational justification um, uh, for uh, anything, uh, for one, and uh, for two, um, even if you're trying to uh, you know, be fair and moral, uh, very often people are stupid and uh, unaware of their own biases and, and uh, ignorant and they won't always come to the right calculations of what actually is moral in a given situation. So this is where uh, principle-based thinking comes in and uh, this is uh, another thing that's important, right? So for example, lying is generally a bad principle. Um, cheating is generally a bad principle. Stealing is generally a bad principle. So the way I would resolve this problem is I'd say it's good to have good principles and uh, you should break those principles when in extreme circumstances but generally you should follow them right so for example if uh, you know if if lying has the slightest bit of benefit I would say you shouldn't do it you should stick to the principle right but if you have to lie um, to stop a huge amount of suffering then I think you should do it, right? So generally you should follow the principles and then in extreme circumstances you should break the principles. I think that's a good idea and to make good principles that's not always so easy. Um, that requires a lot of thinking and a lot of learning and I think that uh, throughout life we should be striving to create better principles. Alright, so hopefully that gives some insight maybe that gives you know enough tools to answer that question for you um, and if you like this video uh, you know share it subscribe uh, or whatever um, and if you have a video request send it to me if you want to talk to me for whatever reason you can add me on Facebook my Facebook group is logical morality